I don't care what you call it, it's my cooking show. My... Welcome to my cooking show. Now today we're going to be making flour tortillas. I got nothing. Welcome to my cooking show. First we'll need a mixing bowl. And then we'll come over here and get some ingredients. Now we won't be using peanut butter today because it makes lousy tortillas. Let's We got the house clean at the party. I thought we'd just keep it that way. You hide? You know the people that live here? Well, I met a couple of them. We've got our favorite mixing cup. Or measuring cup. Where'd my cigarette go? It's... I had a lit cigarette. That would be good to find. I'll kick his ass if I find him in his bedroom playing video games again. We're using gold metal flour. It's, um... Does flour go bad? I don't think so. Oh, I've just measured out two cups. Two cups of flour. And now we're going to measure out two more. That'll make it four. I mean, how long would it take flour to go bad? How old's the flour, Steve? It's all right. So that's wasting perfectly good beer. I'm not wasting any more beer. That is good beer, though. If you smell smoke coming from the living room, let me know. I guess that's all right. Crisco doesn't go bad, does it? Good God, we need half this fucking thing. Not that it matters, but I was scratching my testicle. And here we have a shortening knife. Now, we would be using a butter knife. Ah, uh, we won't go there today. We'll just put that in there and... Hey, fucker! I know it. It's all over my fucking fingers. I we have some paper towels or something. What the? Where the hell those come from? House gnomes. Mike says there's house gnomes. I don't care what that fucker says. Mike says he's gonna get a job. Now we're just gonna. Blend that in there with the, um, with the whisk! <laughs> with a wooden spoon! That's, how the fuck am I supposed to blend this? A sifter, or garlic press. That is a fucking hellacious garlic press. You just want to... Mix that together evenly. <laughs> Look, hair! I used to have hair. Now when lighting substances of unknown flammability, you want to do it over the stove where it's safe. Because, well, I mean, there's usually fire there, so... I mean, sometimes more than others. I don't think Chris was playing with it. Ow! Fuck! Now you want to heat your Crisco on the stove prior to mixing. It'll just make it blend in a little bit easier. That's what we're about to do now. Like 
You fucking know. It, it should work. Well, I got plenty of flour. I mean, I made it without any Crisco the last time. You made pita bread last time. But why aren't you cooking the meat? I right. the camera! Oh, well, I'll cook the meat. Oh, fuck! It smells like burning flour in here. It's alright. It's fine. It adds flavor. Now, before we get too far here, this would be an excellent time to add any spices or pepper or... Salt? Or pepper. Or salt? That we need to add to our flour to make it a little more, uh... Spicy or festive. You just want to sprinkle a moderate amount of that in there. And we'll get some... What, what do you... God, damn it. Fucker, how much did you put in there? Enough? How much hair did you add? And don't worry about any lumps you might have. Those will melt down when you cook it. And just a little bit of seasoning salt. Oh, wait. Ow! Fuck! We'll just get our favorite measuring cup. Go right over here to the sink. There's like... Little nuggets of burned Crisco. Now we want to knead this for 50 strokes. That's what it said on the internet. I don't usually count my strokes. Just gonna need that really good in there. Hey, 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 it hey! It's beer! It's not a beer batter! It's a fucking tortilla! It's a fucking beer batter tortilla! When I want your opinion on cinematography, I'll fucking ask for it, alright? Till then, what did you go to school for? You went to school for cinematography? No, I went to school for divinity. But... <laughs> what did you go to school for? You went for? to school for divinity? You never noticed the DR in front of my name? I thought you were a dentist. Now that we've got 12 of them, it's time to roll them into tortilla shape. We'll use an ordinary rolling pin. Kind of smooth those out. That's that's not good at all. If we'll just roll that out ever so gently. I mean, you caught when I fuck up, right? <laughs> that just totally hit the ceiling. That's well, the ceilings. It's all right. That's not pepper. That's okay. They don't know that. But the glass shards on the other hand. Shit. Let me just. Ah. in my eye. Well, Nietzsche was a fucking lunatic. Though I have to agree with a lot of stuff he says. Frying pan! Now here we have a normal frying pan. Which we're going to turn into a tortilla making machine. Put that on uh, the moderate heat. So what's moderate heat? Two. Two? There's no moderate heat setting on here. And you want to heat that dry. No oil or vinegar or any other lubricants on there. Just dry frying pan. 
Joe, why does Mike always have these kids in the living room? You want to flip your tortillas when they get to be golden brown. You want to make sure you use a separate cutting board from the flour so you don't mix and get um, trigonosis. What's trigonosis look like? I don't know. It's something my mom fucking says. Look at poor dead pig spider web. We'll just use a knife for cutting that. Well, let's just use a sharp knife for cutting that. Now you can just shred this with your hands if you want to. Actually, I find it's useful to use a fork just to shred the meat up. We're not looking for anything uh, precise or anything. We just want to shred that up real good. Now it helps to use a knife and a fork when you're cutting. You just get kind of a handle on that. Um, well, how do you how do you cut up raw pork? If you freeze your meat for about a half an hour beforehand. It makes it much easier to cut. Now you don't want your meat frozen where you gotta hack at it with a chainsaw or a weed whacker or a lawnmower. Oh fuck! Ow! Ow! Oh shit. Okay, okay, but they're going back in the fucking dryer as soon as we're done with this. You know what? I'm fucking hungry. Look, I'm sick of washing dishes, alright? I can only wash so many dishes at one time! Make sure you wash your hands. Because dead pigs are nasty. No, go ahead and explain about the sunflower seeds and how they pertain to anal agony. Give a shit. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> That was not real. What did you do? <coughs> you didn't just drink the hot sauce again, did you? <laughs> I just thought that shit was not fucking hot. It's not hot, pussy. We're totally lit up in the kitchen. Windows totally visible from the alley. And I'm standing here like this with the lapel clip clipped on my nipple. And my assistant has carefully buttered this dish for me. We're going to make enchiladas. And we'll be using refried beans. Hot tomato sauce. Now when you go to Kroger, you want to get hot Mexican style tomato sauce. Normally you want to cut that with something else because that's some fucking hot shit.
God knows we need cheese. I look ridiculous. Thank you very much. Add a little corn to make that festive. Please don't open my microphone with the can opener. I'm so hungry, I'll eat corn. You want to just kind of top that with the pepper jack. Then we'll preheat the oven to 350 degrees. You want to just set that in the oven. And go grab a beer while that cooks. You can fucking stand there and pose all day, but I'm fucking getting the food out. God damn, I'm hungry. And now, our dish is complete. Yeah. Ow. And Hi. <laughs> and welcome to Steve's Cooking Show. There is totally cream to mint on our wall. I'm like, what are you doing? I hope that's cream to mint. Well, today we're going to make flour tortillas. Tias. Today we're going to make flour tortillas. Today we're going to make flour tortillas. Today we're gonna make flour tortilla. Today we're gonna today we're gonna make flour tortilla. I'm gonna do the boob again. I'm so hungry I'll eat corn. Eat my ass. Don't leave that in. 